Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, Sacred Geography, Shinrin, Yoku, and Yurt Life, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Sunday, November 5th, around 6 p.m. Mountain Time 2023. Strong geomagnetic storm and some M flares. In fact, we've been at geomagnetic storm for now 15 hours, peaking up at KP7 just nine hours ago, and that means Aurora. We also are closely watching Iceland for the next eruption, which is imminent. Keep calm. It's boom time. Rainy weather for the Pacific Northwest. Wintery mix for the Northern Plains. Hawaii remains dry. An unsettled weather pattern will continue to produce heavy to excessive rainfall in the Pacific Northwest through Monday. Localized flooding may be possible. A low pressure system moving across the Northern Plains is likely to produce light to moderate snow and rain over the next few days. Dry conditions persist over Hawaii where fire weather concerns continue till late Monday. Here is the snow forecast. Monday into Tuesday, you can see moderate snow west in the uh, Rockies here, as well as a system moving across eastern Canada there. Monday into Tuesday, here's your Wednesday through Thursday. More snow for Canada towards the end of the week as system after system moves into the Pacific Northwest with some record numbers here. Look at this, 85 inches up here in BC, 52 here. This is extending all the way down into the Olympics, so could be some record totals through mid-November. Seismic update, no quakes of note, uh, some moderate quakes here out in Uzbekistan and Afghanistan. We did have a series of moderately large earthquakes in the Aleutians earlier today, nothing significant. As the Reykjanes volcano earthquakes picked up again, there were two magnitude four plus quakes, but overall that swarm has come to an end. So just moderate activity now as the uplift continues. Now, nearly all of the latest quakes have centered around Eldvorp Crater. This system is five kilometers southwest of the threatened Blue Lagoon and six kilometers west of Grindavik. It's probably the most likely location of the new eruption, which has serious potential to disrupt the energy plant there, as well as threaten one of Iceland's most iconic tourist destinations. Here is the Blue Lagoon and that tourist destination. Here's the town of Grindavik. Here are the craters region where the most of the uplift is occurring, where we believe the next eruption will occur. As you can see here, multiple areas, areas of uplift. The most is over 42 millimeters now in just two weeks. So all signs are pointing to an imminent eruption on Iceland as we keep a close eye on the Reykjanes Peninsula here. And stay tuned for more updates as we transition over to space weather here, take a look at that geomagnetic storm. Like I said, peaking at KP7 nine hours ago. We're not out of the woods yet. Here is the three-day geomagnetic forecast, KP6 predicted all the way through tomorrow. So we could have more auroral activity. Currently, the auroral activity is poor. Space weather has quieted down quite a bit now. Take a look at that. So we could see some more reverberation in the field uh, in the coming hours. Now, take a look at some of these pictures. Oh my God, they, we just captured Steve over Windmere. And take a look at this. Probably get demonetized for that, but this is some amazing progression here of the Aurora just over the last 12 hours. Hours, hours. Check out our Twitter feed, at Diamond the Dave, for all the latest updates. As we can see what's causing that geomagnetic instability, massive perturbations here on the magnetometer, swinging over 100 nanotesla in both directions, and bringing a plasma speed just over the threshold of 500 kilometers, maybe towards 550 here, so... Everything seems to be calming down, but new looks like a new triangle shift. New reverberations can continue. So, astronaut captures image of glowering. Or is it glowering skull lurking in a giant volcanic pit in the Sierra Sahara? Whew, that was hard to say. Take a look at this little cinder cone as one of the eyeballs. What a cutie! Now a new paper coming out. 
independent age estimates resolve the controversy of ancient human footprints at White Sands. We've discussed this on many podcasts over at Magnetic Reversal News specifically, and even talked about it uh, on some updates here. Now, there are some footprints found in White Sands in New Mexico that were dated to 16 to 13,000 years old, but a recent paper coming out a few years ago pushed that all the way to 23,000. Well, an independent group of highly reliable sources, they too resolved the dates of 20 to 23,000 years ago, reconfirming that humans were present far south of the ice sheets during the last glacial maximum in New Mexico 23,000 years ago. Now, a lot of great things happening here as we rush towards the new year, celestially anyway. We're talking about multiple meteor streams. The southern Taurids peak this weekend, uh, just seven days from now on the 11th and the 12th. So get out and look up towards Taurus this weekend and maybe see a spectacular show. The meteor shower, known for its cascade of bright fireballs, is set to peak in activity during the next few days, offering an ideal opportunity for stargazers to catch a glimpse of its mesmerizing display. And like I said, the peak will be the 11th and the 12th this weekend. And that brings us to the Leonid meteor shower, which will peak the 17th and the 18th of November. So get out and look up, and that's a boom to knowledge Please share this video as we are shadow banned and we need your help to grow. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do. We love you. Be safe.